Starlink Report. This is the Starlink Report, August 2nd, 2021. I'm Huey Poplock. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and be sure to sign up for notifications. SpaceX is gearing up for at least two Starlink launches this month, beginning with a Falcon 9 mission departing from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California no earlier than August 10th, multiple sources said. Another Falcon 9 launch is scheduled to carry a batch of Starlink satellites into orbit in mid-August. They will be the first SpaceX launches since June 30th, an unusually long gap in the company's jam-packed launch schedule. SpaceX launched 20 Falcon 9 missions in the first half of the year, mostly for the company's own Starlink program. The most recent Falcon 9 mission to carry a full load of Starlink satellites occurred May 26th. Since then, SpaceX has activated hundreds of Internet spacecraft delivered to orbit on previous Falcon 9 missions, raising the number of operational Starlink craft from roughly 950 satellites to more than 1,300, according to an analyst by Jonathan McDowell, an astronomer at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics and a widely respected tracker of spaceflight activity. More than 200 additional Starlink satellites are drifting into their operational positions in orbit 341 miles or 550 kilometers above the Earth at an inclination of 53 degrees to the equator. SpaceX has regulatory approval from the Federal Communications Commission to eventually launch and operate up to 12,000 Internet Relay satellites. The early phases of SpaceX's Starlink network involves the launch of 4,408 satellites into five orbital shells, or layers, in low Earth orbit. SpaceX has launched 1,740 Starlink satellites to date, including prototypes already retired, more than all other commercial satellite fleets combined. Most of the satellites have launched into a 53-degree inclination orbit, the first of five orbital shells the company plans to complete full deployment of the Starlink network. With that shell on the verge of having more than 1,500 active satellites, SpaceX is transitioning to a new phase of the Starlink program. The completion of the first Starlink shell will enable the network to provide high-speed, low-latency internet services to lower latitudes such as the southern United States. The partial deployment of satellites into the first orbital shell initially provided service over northern regions of the United States, Canada, and Europe, as well as higher latitude regions in the southern hemisphere. SpaceX's other Starlink layers will include 1,584 satellites at 335 miles or 540 kilometers and at an inclination of 53.2 degrees, 720 satellites at 354 miles or 570 kilometers and an inclination of 70 degrees, and 520 satellites spread into two shells at 348 miles, 560 kilometers, and an inclination of 97.6 degrees. The Starlink mission set for liftoff from Vandenberg this month, designated Starlink 2-1, will begin populating a new orbital shell. More Starlink missions will follow the launches in mid-August. SpaceX is expected to launch an average of one Starlink mission per month from Vandenberg, over the next year, and there will be regular cadence of Starlink flights from Cape Canaveral, too. In January, Musk said SpaceX would introduce laser inter-satellite links to all Starlink spacecraft beginning in 2022. Starlink satellites heading into polar orbit this year would have the upgrade, he tweeted. SpaceX launched 10 Starlink satellites into a 97.6 degree polar orbit on a rideshare mission in January. Another three Starlink payloads launched 
into a similar orbit in June on a subsequent rideshare flight. Those satellites featured laser inter-satellite links, which allow the spacecraft to pass data and internet traffic between each other without routing it through a ground station. The upgrade will allow SpaceX to provide the internet connectivity near the poles and in other regions without ground stations. A report from aerospace engineer Michael Vallee says that SpaceX's Starlink initial broadband by satellite low Earth orbiting constellation is almost completely deployed in space. Vallee said that the Starlink system has just to fill four remaining orbital planes, commented the satellites destined for those planes are currently heading to them. Everything will have been launched and raised in under 22 months. He adds, a few orbit planes need several more sats, and several more need one or two, but those sats are in space too. Vallee's data shows that the orbits numbered 18, 34, and 60 still need filling with some satellites out of total constellation of 72 orbital planes. Starlink's failure rate albeit in the early stage of their launches, was running at 3%, although more recently failures are 1% or below. And that's it. The Starlink Report. I'm Yui Poplock.